What's going on guys and welcome back to what is another Unlisted Leaf video where today we are unboxing the Japanese set that literally takes a dump on every single set that Pokemon's released in 2021. It is called none other than VMAX Climax and it's the greatest thing I think you've ever seen. Oh, and then you wouldn't believe the luck because the absolute legend like Ando, check the P.O. box, we've sent in some goodies, including the latest Japanese set. So yeah, I might have already unboxed it, but when I saw there was an Ando smiley face, and then I saw... They went down to the local 7-Eleven or something, and they went and bought a whole stack of Japanese Pokemon exclusive snacks. I mean, there's Mimikyu styled biscuits. Then there's like Pimplup gummy bears, which incredible. Could you imagine going down your local supermarket and getting a Pimplup gummy? You've also got like Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey uh, biscuits again. They seem to love the Pokemon styled biscuits. And then you've also got like a Mew and uh, a Shadow Rider and Ice Rider Calyrex. I think it's like lollipops or more gummies. This is an incredible haul, guys. But they also said, if anyone wants to buy the booster box we're opening today, you're gonna want this because check it out. Inside of their free box, there's like exclusive pink Kit Kats. There's like premium dried up, uh, I wanna say it's Kiwi gummies, all sorts of pokers. So I thought that was really cool. A little like present from Japan for one lucky person that watches today's video and drops a comment down below. And also a discount code for anyone that wants to buy the card. Just being so kind to my audience, I always appreciate it. But I think, inside, oh snap, inside of here are the booster boxes. Ladies and gentlemen, I think without further ado, let's not open up just one, but two booster boxes of the brand new 2021 best set ever released, VMAX Climax. Now guys, I know what you're thinking, Ando, what makes this the greatest booster box of 2021? Why is this such a good set? Why is everyone talking about it? It's super duper expensive at the moment because no one can find it anywhere. Well guys, I honestly don't know how to hype this up enough. So I think we're just going to start unboxing this right here. Um, and then as we unbox it, you'll slowly find out why this is so ridiculous. Now, the booster packs in here are so thick, they're unlike any sort of, uh, Japanese booster you've seen recently. They're ridiculously thick, so there's only 10 packs per box. Could you imagine if English did that? Only put out 10 packs per booster box? Everyone would lose their mind. Look at that. Look at this. It's like a small novel. It's like the fourth Harry Potter book. So these things are absolutely filled to the brim with absolute bangers. And I think we're just going to unbox it. I'm just going to show you guys what's up, and then we'll open up the second box pretty fast. But let's open up. Ando's first pack of VMAX Climax. So a lot of the cards in here, we're going to see a lot of reprint cards um, because this is a combination of all Pokemon's favorite sort of cards throughout the V era. If it was in the V era, it's probably going to reprint in this set right here. But let's unbox it and I'll explain as we go. There is also a chance there is a God Pack in here. So a God Pack is where you unbox the first energy and it's all going to be full arts, every single card. So fingers crossed we can get that. Uh, but let's keep going. So, we're gonna kick things off with a reverse water type. Then we're gonna classic Mareep. <sighs> Mareep made it into the set. I'm quite happy about that. We got the Horsey as well. Weedle and Heracross. Gallade. Then we're gonna have Energy as well. Level Ball. Not too bad. So we got the guaranteed Hollow Lycan Rock. I think we get a second Hollow. Looking good. Okay. So two Hollows, and then I think this might be a hit. <sighs> okay. This is the guaranteed V or V Max in this slot. And that, like, this is all guaranteed. This is in every single booster. So you could buy one pack and it could be an absolute party, which I do love. Oh, no way! So this already is a character rare card. So you get three of these per box and these are insane. So this is a Houndoom one right here. Look at the artwork. The artwork is bananas. So these are character rares. They don't have a symbol here, but if it has a V or V max symbol, that's a character rare, super rare. So it's a bit rarer. You only get one of those per box. You also get a guaranteed full art per box as well. Dude, there is so much going on. So yeah, these are, these are like the new, what you want to pull. Only three of them in the box. So seven packs are going to have it, but this is a great way to start it off. So we got plenty to collect. Let's start with the Houndoom. Put you at the back. Said single strike up the top. And let's keep it moving. Oh, and then, so get this right. You only get one full art per box. They've done away with ultra rares and they brought in a stack of their favorite black and gold ultra rare cards. And if you're looking right here, Chonky Chu has a black and gold full art card as well as Mew as well. 
um, Urshifu, heaps of other bangers, so I'm really, really praying that's like the, the most B.O. and end all card. If we could somehow get the black and gold Chonky Chew, that's another one I'd be so keen to hunt for. Which is low-key, if you guys like this set as much as me, I would love to do a hunt for that, buy like 10 boxes and open 100 packs of it. Oh, snap! This is the Vivid Voltage pre-release Charizard! The, oh, I haven't had a good look at this set list, so I'm going to be pretty surprised like all of you guys. We've also got a uh, Snorlax, completely hand-drawn, Zacian V. That had to be reprinted, didn't it? And then you've got these Brick Hollows. So if you don't get a character rare, I think you get a Brick Hollow at the end. Looks like Tetris, doesn't it? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, wow. Guys, there is so much going on. This recap's going to be bananas. Third booster in. I also love that there's no card trick. It's just open up the pack and good luck. It's fantastic, I think, when they release these holiday sets because for people that can't afford a box of it, they can buy one individual booster and you'll be over the moon with some of the pulls because you might see little Timmy sometime this year, he pulled a certain card. You could get the reprint in this set as well as guaranteed two holos. Oh, dude, we managed to get it on the flipping third pack in. Our guaranteed full art secret rare right here, Professor Burnett. That is crazy. Look at the shine. It's got the full art Japanese texture that everybody loves right there. In the, I want to say the, looks like the laboratory, doesn't it? She's doing a bit of research. There are so many trainers to get in this thing as well. But I do think you only get one guaranteed full art and then maybe a gold card randomly as well. So even though we got the full art right now, still got a chance of getting a whole bunch of other stuff, including our secret rare character art. Wow, okay. Full art Professor Burnett. And then VMAX or Beetle. I see that shine. I'm like, what the heck? Do we get a card? Oh, wow, we get a Brick Hollow as well. Cast form. That's pretty wild. Wow, okay. Got the VMAX on top of that. So that was obviously the VMAX is the reprint. What do you think of the full art? What are you thinking in this set so far? Are you enjoying it? I'm so curious what you guys reckon. A lot of people are like so confused because they love this set, but they're so disappointed it's not going to be a dedicated set in English. It'll be trickled in randomly here and there throughout next year. So we get a real big sneak peek by unboxing this. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Got the Dotler. Looking good. There's a bunch of Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrexes to find too. God of War, Inteleon, and then Galarian Moltres. That's right, the Galarian birds are heavily featured. So Galarian Moltres V card. Probably, I don't know what to be putting at the back. Like we probably should be putting the V cards and V maxes at the back as well, but we'll keep it moving. I just think those, those character rares, they're something so special because the last time we really saw them come out was Cosmic Eclipse and the other stuff like the black and gold promos we only really saw in the premium ETBs in English. So it's a very, very cool idea to bring it all back at the end of 2021. Have a look back at a best reprint sort of lot. Houndoom again. That's looking good. And then, oh, Eternatus VMAX. So there's an Eternatus character card as well, which does look sensational. And then, what's going to be after this? Oh, no way! On the first flipping booster box, we pulled none other than the Leon and Charizard character rare card. Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome! So this is a very, very rare character card. Um, Leon and Charizard, huge fan favorite. I think when it hit Twitter, the internet exploded. Everyone loved it. That is awesome. Wow. If you guys aren't sold on this box and purchasing one right now, I don't know what will. How exciting is this? Like, we've already got the secret rare for the box, but we're getting more exciting stuff here. Gotta love a Charizard, especially Leon as well. Showing his softer side right there. Dude, this is unreal. I saw someone get this recently and they were freaking out. So the fact we got it in our first box is unbelievable. Okay. Ando, you pulled the Charizard, but we're going to keep it moving. So with the gold cards, right? All the gold cards you can get. A few people were really, really blown away that they didn't include Charizard in that lot. Like you could get a full black and gold Mew card. You could get black and gold Chonky Chew, Calyrex but you can get a black and gold Charizard. It's rumored that there could be one coming down the line. They couldn't squeeze it into this set, but I think that's more enjoyable. I think like Charizard would be cool as a black and gold card, but for now there's enough hype in this set without a Charizard. So in my book, that's the correct move. Let's release that later. Let's stick with Leon and Charizard as the main Charizard chase card. And I can't believe we pulled it. Urshifu as well. Boom! What the flip? We are doing so ridiculous today. 
Look at that! On the first box, Charizard and then the Eternatus! You are kidding me! Look at that bad boy! Now there is two different versions, you get the VMAX and the V, but this one right here, they both feature Rose, I mean they both feature Eternatus obviously, and this has got the full texture as you can see. I reckon, like this is the hottest take, I reckon some of the V cards have better artwork than the V Maxes. Low key, I reckon that's the case with this one. Probably you guys don't agree with me, but I don't care. I love this one. What a box. I'm so happy we get a second one to open right now because this is bananas. All right, so we got Eternatus. Oh, Brick Cast Form again. What's with the Brick Cast Forms? But check that out. Rose and Eternatus V Character Rare. So that's the Ultra Rare version. So now that we got four packs left, what could we get? I don't know. Can I think of anything else that we should be hunting for besides a God Pack and a Gold Card? Oh yeah, there's a V Union Morpico, I think. Really, really random. There's like a V Union card we could get, which is a four-part card. So maybe we could hunt for one of those. And just generally, I think more cigarettes and uh, all sorts of stuff like that we could hope for. Sylveon V, you're kidding me. So all the EV Hero cards must have reprints. Guys, there's like no, there's like, I don't know about you, but there's like no point in collecting any of the sets from 2021 when you could just go buy a box of this. Because it's already gone hand selected. This is the best card from this set. This is the best card from this set. Reprint it into a massive ridiculous one. And that's all you need to buy. Is one or two boosters from this. I mean cricket tune. <gasps> and another one! Dude! <laughs> is this rare? Like, I don't know. Galarian Obstagoon's getting the ultimate beat down right now. Oh, see, that's our third one. I reckon that's our last one. I'm not, I'm literally not arguing with any of this though. I'm in for, a, in for a wild ride. And I reckon, like, so many people had no idea what was going on with the set, and it took forever for people to work out, like, okay, so it looks like you get three character rares. Like, it's such a complicated, colluded set, and I low-key love it, because they never explained it either. Pokemon just put it out, and they're like, all right, enjoy the new holiday set. And it's massive, by the way. Gloves are getting reprints as well. This is epic, Birdkeeper. Got the Leon again. Got the, okay, so we're doubling up on the V Maxes. Interesting. There's our Brick Hollow. Now, the final pack of this booster box. We got another 10 boosters coming in a second, so don't even trip, guys. Um, oh, I reckon it would be oodles of fun, wouldn't it? Like, because I'm seriously, I'm having so much fun right now. Couldn't even imagine having 100 boosters of this. It would cost a fortune, but low key, so down. Ralts. Only if you guys are enjoying it as much as me. Sometimes I wonder there's so much going on with these Japanese sets, you're like, so lost. Okay, you ready? Oh, it's a Rapid Strike Urshifu. And we're going to finish it off with a Brick Hollow Malamar. That's alright. Let's open up the uh, 10 boosters. I'm going to speed open the tops of those and get this party really started. Everyone's got to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what is like the one card or the one thing that you would want to find if you opened up this uh, booster pack right here. What would the ultimate outcome be? Do you want a particular gold card? Would you want maybe a god pack? Um, maybe a certain character rare? Because there is a couple of these boosters in the mystery box if you do win. So I think that's a good comment to leave. Out of all of that's going on, right? This whole entire set, what would the dream be? Oh, this is a, uh, it's a full art card. Gala friends. Holy smokes, I think that's the most expensive full art as well you can get. So fingers crossed something like that. Pikachu, I'm hoping that's a sign. Chonky Chew on the way, so Pikachu V. And we've got our Brick Holo. I do enjoy the pattern on here. Isn't it cool? It's kind of weird, but I do enjoy like the out of the blue randomness of that one. I keep wanting to do the card trick. I'm so not used to everything being done for me. Reverse energy, a couple of the uh, lower tier cards that don't really have too much rarity in the set. Guaranteed Flapple Hollow, Bronzong, and the first character super rare is none other than the gorgeous, the ridiculous Sylveon VMAX card. Oh my goodness. You can't miss. I'm beginning to think you literally can't miss in the set. Like Uncle Ando has been doing fantastic, but there are so many awesome hits. Do I get it graded? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, are we sending this off to grading? Gallade, you look good, but not as good as this one. Oh my gosh! It's got the fuller texture, by the way. So they all have like this insane rarity feel to them. Holy Aunt Jemima, I am freaking out. Like the mini details on this thing with the flower petals and all that. 
It's just crazy. This is such a beautiful card. I saw this one on the internet and I never really like, I don't know, double taked at it and then I've seen it right now in person and I'm physically blown away. Bro, what the heck? Okay. So we got the Still Beyond VMAX, which I guess is the rarest character art we're gonna get. We still have a guaranteed full art coming up as well. There's so much to look forward to. You get one hit and you're like, don't worry, there's like 6,000 more coming up. Got the uh, Charmeleon. So weird. Uh, like, every banger has a has a pull in this thing. Charizard, Charmeleon, Sylveon, the Evolutions and all that. Umbreon! Umbreon has a character rare that's amazing in the set as well. Kingdra! Wow! <laughs> I didn't even know that one had a character rare. I'll take it back to back. I gotta love that. The artwork is just unbelievable. I think I did see quite a few people talk about, like, they just want to collect a binder full of the character rares because... At the moment, there's no like guarantee these will ever release in English, and I suppose if you want the beautiful artwork that these have, you gotta try and collect them all. At three, three of these character rares per boxes, it probably will take a hot minute, like it's gonna take you a while, but it would be a fun challenge to try and get as many as possible, or really just pick out the ones you love, and go after them. Here we go, you ready? What could it be? Third pack in, Blaziken has some character rares that are off the charts. Here we go. Everyone's favorite VMAX, and a Shuppet as the Tetris Rare. I think that's the new word for it, Tetris Rare. It's cool that they didn't skimp out either on the VMAX, like the VMAXs still have texture even though they're reprints. I think that's pretty cool. Unlisted Leaf? What do you reckon? I'm so nervous what our full art's gonna be. Like, there's so many options. They're all good. Okay, so we've got a Boltland V. Oh, it's teasing us, guys. It's gonna be in one of these. And if I could get a God Pack on camera, I've never done it. Even through all the Japanese sets and the holiday ones that did have God Packs, I've never been able to pull it on camera. So I'm hoping that one day it'll happen. Maybe we'll buy a case. Okay, two holos, and then... Oh, okay, Shadow Rider VMAX. I wouldn't mind a Calyrex as the gold card. Who am I kidding? I wouldn't mind a gold card in general. Phalanx as the Brick Holo. Fourth to last booster, guys. We're gonna keep it moving though. Psychic type. Every time I release the energy, I'm like, oh, is it a full art? Are we, are we lucky today? Bird Keeper, level ball. And then, Cricket Tune as the V. Hey, nice! I was just looking at this one. I thought the art on the internet looks so cool. Our cream is delivering. Uh, uh, is it a hot chocolate or an ice cream? I think it's a hot chocolate to him. That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't that such a good artwork? I am so chuffed. The pulls today are great. This is awesome. Genuinely really, really cool. This makes me love Pokemon cards. And what a good way to end the year, guys. Like, this is it. This is like basically the last release of the year. And Japan, they knocked it out the park. Home run for sure. Water type, you could sit back, relax, and just open this on Christmas Day. Like, that'd be the best present. What are we gonna get, guys? Nerves. Okay, Hound Doom. Zacian V. Two boosters remaining. Second to last. I mean, guys, if you do love this opening, I will buy more. I'm just prefacing, like, I think I think this is a must-buy a case worth, if I've ever seen it. Usually with Japanese sets, it's so hard to tell, but this is amazing. This is too much fun. There was a Japanese set, I think, a while ago. I just bought case on case because I was so keen to hunt down particular guards. This will be the same thing. Here we go. Snorlax and Teleon. Eternatus VMAX, which is ironic after the character rare. Oh my goodness! Zekrom and N, character rare. But are you looking at the artwork again? I'm sorry I keep using that word, but it's just like... Wow! Guys! It is a crime. It is a literal crime if this never shows its face in English. If they've wasted all of this fantastic artwork on a set that will just never rock up in English? Bro, I don't even know what to tell you. This is it guys, our final pack of VMAX Climax. Let's give it a go. Fire type reverse. That's gonna summarize the pulls that are inside of this bad boy. I know it. <gasps> Dude, we pulled the V Union. Oh my, what an opening today. Check this out. Do we get all, oh, we get all parts? I was thinking this, I was thinking this when I read it. I'm like, how do they do V unions? Do you get one card, you gotta get like heaps of them? Looks like you guaranteed all four parts. Part one, part two, and more Picos, part four. Okay, and then what's behind it? 
well. All right, let's build this bad boy and then we'll do a recap. This is gonna be insane. Alrighty guys, so if you weren't convinced about an 100 pack opening of VMAX Climax, let me show you right here. So at the top you'll notice we only got one full art, and I know what you're thinking, Ando, didn't you say there was one full art per box? The more Pico V Union is actually counting towards our full art. It's a bit of like an ultra rare four part card. Then to the left hand side, you'll see our rare versions of the character rares. These are so sick, especially that Sylveon VMAX. Then you got all the character rare cards, Zekrom looking majestic, Charizard a huge like crowd favorite, and the broken McDonald's ice cream machine. As you come one below it, you got all the VMAX cards, six of them, and then below that, you've got all the V cards. So at minimum, you're always gonna get a V here. Then as a bit of a bonus, we got that pre-release Vivid Voltage Charizard. I thought that was sick, but looking back at all of these, one thing stands out. We still need to try a Mimikyu chocolate snack. Okay, all right, hopefully no one's watching, but let's try the uh, chocolate Mimikyu biscuits. I really want to try them. I don't know. We don't like obviously sell chocolate. Oh, it smells like Cocoa Pops. You know Cocoa Pops? It smells exactly like that. Oh snap, that literally just looks like a bunch of, uh, it's, oh no way, they're like Mimikyu's head right there. That's kind of weird now I say that, but Mimikyu's head. Oh my God. Yep. Yo, these are so good. Oh, imagine having this to go to school and having Mimikyu's like chocolate snack. They're amazing. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna keep eating these and keep on gaming, all right? I'll, I'll see you in the next upload. Let me know if you want me tasting snacks as another video. Cause this is, this is good.